This is another response to a question that someone had. They said you cannot use a double Y fitting for this situation because you're not going to be able to get a quarter of an inch per foot slope when you're using it. And hopefully by the time you're finished watching this video, you can make up your own mind as to whether or not that would be true. Plus the fact that it is an approved fitting according to one of the charts located in the building code reference books. So to prove my point, I'm going to go ahead and draw a two-dimensional line and take a look at the first setup with a flat and level drainage pipe system. So if I have a situation like this where everything's flat, then it would be difficult to argue the point the individual is making, suggesting that we're not going to have enough slope in our pipe. However, if we slope the system a quarter of an inch per foot, then there's a good chance we're going to have enough slope at the Y connecting point. And the reason why should be obvious in the video here. And if that doesn't make sense, maybe this does. I went ahead and sloped this drainage system a half inch per foot, and the one behind it is level. And it sure looks like to me that you're going to have enough slope coming in to the fitting. And let's go ahead and take a look at a different angle here. And don't forget, you can always turn the fittings if you need a little more slope, this fitting can be turned along with this one and this one. And I think about the only problem I'm going to have with this one is that drainage waste from one side of the pipe could actually be forced into the other side. And if that's the case, it could create some type of blockage in the pipes over time due to sediment buildup. So if this information is true, and there are some building departments that don't allow this fitting, you should probably find out before you build your house. If not, I think something like this is going to work better, because a setup like this is going to direct the flow in the right direction. And you're not going to be getting any waste from one side going into the other side. However, if your building code requires the toilet to be the furthest fixture downstream in the wet vent system, this could be a problem. Taking us back to using the original double Y connection. And as always, feel free to leave any comments you have in the comment area, questions, or disagreements with the building codes. Feel free to leave those also. Do it in a kind way. And make sure that you leave the building code reference numbers and the books that those reference numbers came out of to support your argument in the comment area.